Okay, what I'm about to share might shock some of you, but most students of prophecy understand that this is going to be par for the course in our day. And so this isn't going to be that much of a shocker, but it is disgusting to say the least. Check this out. I just posted this to the site this morning. Swedish Lutherans urge use of gender-neutral words for God. I'm just going to read the first sentence. It says, The Church of Sweden is urging its clergy to use gender-neutral language when referring to the supreme deity, refraining from using terms like Lord and He in favor of the less specific God. So, this is how far the insanity of the homosexual movement, which was started by the Vatican years ago, has spun off. So as to both mock the God of creation as well as normalize whatever the flesh lusts after. You know, those of us that have eyes to see and common sense to stand firm in the truth, no, they can make all the strange claims they want about the Word of God, or even basic reality for that matter. All it's doing is confirming end-time prophecy regarding how easily some so-called Christians are used by Satan to mock the Creator God. And so in some ways it's going to make our job a little more difficult, but in other ways a lot easier for those that actually read Bibles. I mean, even a babe in Christ can open the Bible to find the Lord is referred to as him, he, his, and even father, cover to cover in the Bible. But because we know Rome has also declared in writing many times how much they hate the Bible and the author of it, one has to expect such spiritual insanity as this coming from them and those they control. And yes, it's no mistake that the Lutheran Church in Sweden was the first to proclaim this heresy just a few weeks after joining hands with the Pope on the 500th anniversary of Martin Luther's 95 Thesis that they falsely claim has been debunked. Yeah, I did a video about that a while ago. But students of the Bible know that Rome is the one behind this, and both prophecy and historic record confirm that this is the case. And as they usually do, they are going to use one of their ecumenical pawns to test the water in their long prophesied and anti-Christian agenda so as to keep their image as clean as possible, even in this end-time society, when everybody knows how evil the Vatican truly is now. I mean, as is apparent by this article, and this is besides the point that the Lutheran Church of Sweden is led by a woman, the Pope has demanded she show a bold sign of loyalty to Rome after claiming the Protestant movement has ended by openly stating that removing the gender of our God is something all must do so as to place the lust of the creature above the will of its creator, which will then belittle the word of God at the same time. This not only shows how little biblical and even common sense reality matters to those that are moved by Satan to bow to the man of sin, it also shows another prophecy fulfilled, which is found in Romans chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, which says, God also gave them up to the uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And why did he do that? Well, look at how the verse ends. It's because they changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless.